Hi, this is Matt from Pels. Today we're doing the Massey Ferguson GC1723. So let's get right into it. We've got uh, 552.4 pounds. That's going to be the pallet forks, the pallet fork frame, the weight of the pallet, and then we have two suitcase weights on the front. Uh, this tractor is rated, as I recall, 650 pounds at full height. 19.6 inches forward of the pivot pin if I remember correctly. I'm gonna fire it up and go full throttle and we'll see what it can do. So five feet six inches to the bottom corner of the uh, pallet fork frame. Okay now we've added two more weights in front of the ones that were already there putting us out about 38 inches from the front side of the pallet fork. Uh, bringing our total weight up to 790.4 pounds. So let's fire it up and see what it'll lift. Three feet, seven and a quarter inches is how high we got it off the ground. That should be good enough to get it into the back of a pickup. Okay, so we've added one more suitcase weight right towards the, um, right up close to the pallet forks. Uh, 117 pounds bringing us to 907.4. Let's give it a shot and see what it'll do. One foot six inch, so that gives you a little distance off the ground. I'm gonna let it down. I'm gonna probably throw one more, uh, probably a little bit smaller weight on it. See what we get out of it. All right, we've added one more weight on top of that, bringing our weight total up to 979.2 pounds. So we've got it 10 inches off the ground. That's gonna be just enough to scoot something across the ground a little ways. The Massey Ferguson GC1723 EB, which is the backhoe model. So in this scenario, we're not going to be using a weight box. We're just going to have the backhoe on it and see what this will lift with that setup. 979.2 pounds. Let's see what it'll do. Now I believe it's just off the ground. It is just a hair off. So the difference between this one and the other GC in part is going to be from the backhoe um, and with not having a weight box on it and then also your hydraulic pressure settings. Okay, so we've taken off one of the weights, bringing our weight down to 907.4. We're gonna fire it up and see what it'll do. So we got it one foot six inches off the ground. So now we know the dif difference between those two weights. That's where we're gonna be maxed out on lift capacity to be able to scoot something around with the Massey Ferguson GC1723EB, which of course is our backhoe model.